You've probably already seen the news. After two and a half years, Princess Connect Redive Global, the game that helped me launch this channel, will be closing its doors on April 30th, 2023. I personally first saw this one first, the Facebook update, and then I found it on the Crunchyroll website, and then I found it on the Twitter, and we now see that Princess Connect is treated as a vaulted game. The game has also been removed from the Play Store, as you can see here. But to be honest, I had a feeling. Because if you go over to my channel, you will see that the upcoming live stream, the only one left is, will we get here? I hope so. Yeah, so I did kind of see it coming, but, but why? I think the most obvious answer that everybody knows is because of the revenue. So as you can see here, January and February, 2023, and we've got Princess Connect global version at 300k from January and 180k for February. This is normal. It's bad. It's not the worst, but it's certainly bad. It's not as bad as Revive Witch, and somehow Revive Witch managed to keep going longer than Princess Connect Global. But to be honest, most companies can't tolerate such low revenues, like Micah Team can, right? You see Neural Cloud over here at 160k, Girls Frontline 190 to 140, and Girls Frontline has been existing since 2016. That's about seven years now. But on the other hand, it seems that Crunchyroll, and by extension, Psy Games, were not able to tolerate such revenues. It's a great game, a great waifu collector. It was very free-to-play friendly, probably a little bit too free-to-play friendly. There's no equipment stat RNG, it's relatively casual, with game modes that you can and don't have to participate in. On the other hand, if you wanted to try hard, you could, but only if you actually wanted to. Almost 313k active players, that's that's nothing to scoff at, because if I look at CSGO, their average play is about uh, just double, and they're still gone, alright? Especially for a gacha game, 313k is actually quite good, but they couldn't monetize it. Fortunately for us, but unfortunately for the developers, it was an extremely free-to-play friendly game. Combining that with the fact that Whales don't really have anything to spend on, and the three years worth of clairvoyance, as you can see on the screen, it's not going to do very well in terms of revenue. And so they had a few choices. They could have monetized harder, but then all of these free-to-play players that play it because it's free-to-play would flame them. Or they could have kept going the way that they did. And that's what they did. And so the game would die then, and that's what happened. There is an argument, however, that because it is actually March 31st, well, in my country anyway, and we're only one day off of April Fool's, it's, it's gonna be an April Fool's joke, April 1st, you know, voila! Surprise, it's not actually end of service. If Crunchyroll undoes all of these different signs, including putting the game back onto the App Store, and then shouts April Fool's, then I want you guys to repost this picture and spread it to the ends of the universe. But for me personally, I do think that this is the end. As most of the OGs would know, I built this channel with this game. And so I would like to take this final opportunity, I guess, to thank the game. Crunchyroll and Psy Games did bring it to the global audience. And to thank you guys as well, the pre-con gang. Just one last thank you for the journey that we had. And so I guess the question remains, will I play pre-con JP? Probably not. I personally like playing global servers with the global people and in English. I don't know, I might follow the translations in English for the story, but that will probably be it. With that said though, my guys, let me know down in the comments if you are going to be migrating to JP or another server, or if you just let it rest and move on. But my guys, with that, that is going to bring us to the end of the video. Let me know how you're feeling down in the comments below. But as the pre-con crew once said, all good things must come to an end. And happy birthday to Pekrin. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.